Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, it is a Sunday afternoon here in Idaho. Just got done with the Drone Seekers live show. And uh, the folks at the uh, Fly for Fun show, uh, Johnny and Captain Ray, I cut out a little early. And uh, the reason that I did is so I could go out and fly the uh, DJI Mini 2. Uh, we've had some snow. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get the guy out and fly it. And there's all this uh, controversy uh, going on about the uh, app update. So I'm looking at my iPhone here, so I have my notes on the uh, app update. Uh, so I'm currently on the Fly app, and this is for iOS, for an iPhone. I'm currently on 1.2.5. Now the notes on that one are, fixes certain issues and improves overall app stability and user experience. Now just previous to that was 1.2.4, and I have not flown since either of these uh, uh, fly app updates came out and 1.2.4 uh, says it remembers the screen orientation, adds device management, fixes certain issues, and improves overall app stability. Now, all of that said, I know there have been a number of folks out there complaining that uh, they've had the app crash or the drone disconnect and they're blaming it on this new app. So I thought, hey, this is a good opportunity to take the Mini up and check it out and see how it does here. And we, got, we had some snow uh, the last couple days and there's a little bit of a light snow coming down right now so uh, so we'll put it up in the air and check that out now the other little bit of controversy was it was supposed to fix the way the compass is on the uh, uh, on the uh, attitude indicator on the app now what I'm going to tell you is often if your compass if you're not showing your controller pointing towards your drone or whatever. Often that is the compass in your phone has nothing to do uh, with the app. Now I haven't uh, messed with my phone at all. There's some procedures you can go through to calibrate the compass in your phone, etc. But uh, uh, in any case, uh, we'll check all that out. Let's put the drone in the air. Let's get a little picture, some pictures of the snow, and let's just see how the app does. And uh, hopefully, we won't have any problems. We'll just uh, check all that out. So, so then the weather. It's uh, 36 degrees, uh, two mile an hour winds. It says I feel no wind at all uh, with four mile an hour gusts. So essentially, no wind. So. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a good time to fly. And by the way, the temperature limitation on the Mini is 30 degrees, or excuse me, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're 36 degrees, we're four degrees above that. That would be zero uh, Celsius. That's the limit of the, uh, of the Mini 2 in cold weather. And I know a lot of people have flown in much colder weather than that uh, without issues. So let's quit messing around. <laughs> let's get this bird in the air. Okay, let's do our usual uh, pre-flight check. Uh, the drone asked for a compass calibration, so we did that. Uh, and uh, and it's fine. There's kind of a metal gate here by where I've got the drone set down, so that may have something to do with that. But it's telling us pre-flight check is normal. Uh, and our uh, auto return to home altitude is set at 59 meters. Let's go into the safety menu. And there it shows our... Uh, our, our limits again uh, and it's saying the compass is normal the IMU is normal I always take a quick look at the battery probably should especially on a cold day like today 4.3 volts on uh, on both cells so we're good to go there uh, so yeah let's check we are in uh, 4k 30 frames per second that's where I want to be on the camera let's uh, start recording right now we're recording. I see uh, no reason not to take off. So uh, we're in normal mode on the uh, controller. So I'm gonna get out of the way so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna hit take off on the app here. Lots of geese around here you probably hear. And we are at an altitude zone. So we'll click okay on that. Let's pick the drone up a little bit and let's let it hover for a second. And uh, you can see the snow. Uh, there is uh, there's plenty of snow out and about today. So uh, that's kind of uh, one of the things that I wanted to show. So uh, let's go ahead. Well, let's 
first, let's go ahead and uh, get to, boy, my fingers are cold. I'm trying to open up the At Attitude app. Okay, we got that going. And uh, yeah, so let me, uh, let me back away here a little bit and we can see uh, how that compass is doing. Yeah, so it's showing me, if you look at, I'm the little blue dot, and it's showing me, I'm going to turn around, and you can see the arrow move. And so mine is working uh, perfectly there, so uh, I, wonder, I think I can make that a little bigger, maybe. No, I guess not. That's just the size of it. So I'm standing near the takeoff point, uh, but, uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, and grab some altitude here. And you guys uh, are familiar with this area here because I fly here all the time. I'm trying to get centered on that, uh, on the cell phone tower there. Let's fly towards that guy. Give you guys a good look at the cell tower here. See if it's got some snow on it. And it looks like it does. It's uh it is pretty bright out here, so it's kind of hard for me to uh even on FPV here to really see exactly what's going on. Yeah, it looks like snow on top of it there. I'm doing kind of doing a manual orbit over it. So let's grab some altitude. And uh, let's go over the top of it and look down. Yeah, there's definitely snow on top of that guy, huh? Yeah, I wonder if that affects the uh, cell transmission. Don't know. Anyway, that, that's probably as much as that cell phone tower as you wanted to see. So far the connection is really good. Let's get to that rule of thirds and uh, look around the neighborhood here a little bit. I'm just gonna do, uh, see if I can do a kind of a 360 pan around here. Kind of get you a look. Uh, we're facing kind of south right now. And like I said, anybody that watches my channel is familiar with this area. And right down there by that tree, right in the center bottom of the screen right now, is usually where I, I set up to, uh, to film. But with the snow, I found a spot where they'd scraped off the, uh, the snow off the sidewalk, and, and I just took off there. Now we're facing west, essentially. And you can see there's plenty of snow. And then over here on this side, yesterday I went for a walk and I saw some kids over by, this is a little fire training station and down in the bottom center there, they were uh, uh, sledding down. There's a little hill there, they were sledding down it. Looks like they're clearing the, the snow out at the school. Or no, that, maybe that's just somebody driving around over there at the school, spinning some donuts. Can't blame them there. I'd probably be wanting to do that too. So anyway, let's. Uh, this is our kind of our usual place that we go take a look. Let's go over the top of uh, Discovery School over here. And you guys are all very familiar with this view because this is one of the places that I like to go uh, to check out the camera on drones. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of a winter wonderland right now. And I am seeing nothing uh, odd about the way the drone is performing right now. We have a solid connection. Everything seems to be working perfectly. So I know there's others that are talking about issues with the app, but so far we haven't seen any. And usually, you know, you'd be looking at the Boise front here, but... Uh, but not today because uh, it's, uh, you know, the clouds and so forth, it's kind of socked in. So we'll continue our yaw around.
and I'll come back towards me and you can kind of see the, where I uh, took off here so I am over there by pathway school so let's bring it on back we'll drop some altitude here bring this baby back There I am down there. And there's uh, there's a lot of geese flying around the, uh, uh, you know, I noticed they've been tromping around in the snow here. I think they love it. And uh, there's, there's no school tomorrow because in the United States here, it's President's Day tomorrow. But it looks like there's been plenty of people out here uh, trying to uh, spin some donuts in the, uh, in the snow. <laughs> Can't say as I blame them. That sounds like something I'd do. Get down here a little lower. That right there, that little ambulance, uh, that, th this is a, uh, this high school, let me yaw around a little bit. This high school right here is a medical arts school and they train kids there, I think, you know, for pre-medical, pre-nursing degrees, etc., before they go on to higher ed and they use that ambulance there for, uh, for training. So that is not a currently a functional ambulance but uh, they use it a lot for training I'll tell you this OcuSync on this drone is just phenomenal you know the fact that you can uh, that I am comfortable uh, flying this drone uh, you know in these kind of close quarters it's just man it's just a great system let's get a little altitude here and these are uh, these are just modular schools. I don't think they use them much anymore. I think since they built some of the other parts of the school, they might get used, but I don't think as much as they used to. And there again, you see me standing there. Let's see if there's uh, if there's any geese out here in the field. And I heard I think somebody is out trying to play. Uh, uh, frisbee golf because I heard uh, the chains on one of those frisbee golf things uh, ringing here just a little bit ago. Let's drop some altitude. Looking at the drone there. Uh, it's funny as I breathe on my iPhone it's fogging it up so even your FPV on days like today gets fogged up. Yeah I don't see any geese out here. And you can see, that's what I was talking about. There, there's one of the uh, Frisbee golf uh, holes, I guess you'd call it, right there. Let's yaw around here a little bit and see if we can uh, see if we can see maybe somebody's out there playing. Oh yeah, right there. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna get not gonna get close to him, but we are going to zoom in. Yeah, he just uh, picking his uh, <laughs> his disc up out from the uh, uh, the hole there. Oh, that is freaking cool, huh? Okay, let me grab some altitude so we don't bug him. And let's keep moving here. Yeah, uh, pretty darn cool. Uh, that takes some dedication, you know, uh, playing frisbee golf on a snowy day like today. Let's pick this baby up. The drone is performing perfectly, and, uh, you know, we've uh, been in the air for quite a while now, and uh, we're not even at 50% battery. That's the thing. 
about these DJI drones and the cool thing about this Mini is that it is so precise. Uh, you can fly this drone uh, and have so much confidence in where you're placing it and what you're doing because you're not uh, worried about losing connection and and like I said the controls are so precise okay let's throw it into sport mode here real quick and uh, and let's just do a little uh, speed run here over to Discovery School so uh, this is just for fun full stick forward right now and you saw the uh, that the the uh, gimbal drop when it does that it'll do that that's uh, that's normal for the mini and they even give you that warning at the top there so let's see, we're up to, boy, I hear the drone above me. We were about 14 and a half meters per second there for a little bit. It's slowing down a little bit now, so it must have a little bit of a headwind, but 14 and a half meters per second, that, my friends, is uh, over 30 miles an hour. So that's pretty good. <laughs> that's just amazing for this little drone, I gotta tell you. Uh, so that's kind of a better look at the uh, at the neighborhood surrounding the school here. Everybody's roof is covered in snow as it should be on a day like today. Okay, let's bring it back to us. And again, we are at full tilt. And the drone is over 15 meters, 15.7, 15.8, wow. 16 meters per second, folks. That is moving right along. That's, that's about 35 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. Okay, enough of the uh, speed test. Uh, let's bring it back. I think we ought to uh, uh, try a, a, uh, some uh, of the... Uh, uh, quick shots. Gosh, I couldn't get that out. Quick shots. That's what I was trying to say. It's cold. My fingers are cold. I took those gloves off. It's just, I don't care what anybody says. No matter what gloves I wear, it's just hard to fly as well with uh, with gloves on. You just you just can't. I don't think anyway. And I am gonna have to have it high enough to uh, not hit some things here. So. How high are we? We're about 20 meters high. So I don't know if it'll recognize me if I need to be closer, but let's try it. So, uh, so I'm gonna stop recording to go into quick shots. And into quick shots. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try my favorite Helix. And uh, you know what? It looks like it'll do it. Yeah, obstacle avoidance unavailable. So we're good, and I think we're high enough that we're not going to hit anything. So let's hit start. It's going to count down. I love the Helix. And uh, one of the things that the drone does is that it, uh, it accelerates as it goes around on the Helix, and it moves away. So again, though, it does give you that warning, and I'm, I'm watching the drone uh do its flight here and it's pretty cool it's doing a great job it's really accelerating now uh, but you do want to make sure that you're clear of anything because this uh this baby will just it'll just run right into it and there we are and there's the goat. Look at the geese here. Let's, uh, boy, the quick shot is complete. It's returning to its uh, starting point here. Let's see if we can get a better look at the uh, at the geese here. So we are going to go back into video and start. And let's move this baby over a little bit. Pick the camera up.
Where did those geese go? I'm, I'm looking at FPV, so it's a little bit harder for me to see. There they are, right there. Let's yaw around. There's those geese. Yeah, they probably don't know what to make of this guy. I think we ought to do a little zoom. What do you think? There they are. They don't even they don't even know that drone is there. There again, uh, that's one of the things that I think is just magical about this little drone is that you can be comfortable. Now I'm going to move back over to the center of this uh, to make sure that uh, I'm not over the top of anything. And then uh, let's pick the gimbal up and we're going to go straight up. Uh, and you know, I guess there again I want to point out that, that that's one of the things that this drone allows you to be comfortable uh, doing is uh, is getting those kind of shots because of the precision and uh, because of how well it flies and then that zoom I mean you know how, how else would you get a shot like that so let's uh, we got our guy out here getting ready to throw his uh, his disc there he just threw it doggone it I wanted to get the uh, I wanted to get him on uh, on video, so we're not going to get too close, but let's see if he'll uh, zoom in and see if he's getting ready to throw another one here. Yeah, we know we got low battery. Boy, I'm telling you, look at that guy tromp through the snow to play frisbee golf. I mean, you know, there you, that takes... Uh, you know, that's a guy with some stamina and courage. Okay, so it's the drone is wanting to come home, so let's turn it around here. Return home promptly. It'll keep bugging us if we don't do it, so let's, uh, let's bring it on back here. And let's bring it in here. I'm going to put it in cine mode so I get nice and slow. And we're going to get down over the top of the landing pad a little bit further forward okay I'm gonna go full stick down now okay so I was a little bit off of the pad and I see I had the camera turned the wrong direction so you guys didn't get to see that I'll turn it around here and uh, you can see that I was a little off the pad. I, I had a little cross coupling there on the way down and, and I moved it off a little bit. But uh, anyway, let's stop recording. Got to remember to do that. This was a fun flight. Uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay guys, uh, I put the gloves back on because it's darn cold out, but uh, we took the Mini 2 up today to test out that uh, the new uh, DJI Fly app for iOS, for Apple products. Uh, I have the latest version installed, uh, 1.2.5. Uh, now the complaints have been that it's caused people disconnects, those kind of things. And there's other, been other complaints about the uh, compass direction. In other words, the icon in the attitude indicator the arrow not showing where you're pointing your controller. Uh, I didn't see any of those problems. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm not, I don't doubt that people have had issues, uh, but, uh, but they didn't show for me today. And we got to go up and we got to, you know, fly around in the snow a little bit, which is uh, always fun uh, to get it out, do, do something a little bit different. 
I showed you that same look uh, that I take when I go over the top of Discovery School, look over the Boise front, and uh, you didn't, all you saw was a lot of white today because of the snow. And what a little performer this guy is. Uh, we got it up there at one point, and I think it had a little bit of wind at its back, but still 16 meters per second. So that's over 35 miles an hour for this little drone. That is just phenomenal. And uh, did a little, got to take a look at uh, flying in, you know, lower altitudes and, and uh, just hopefully showed you the precise control that you can get with uh, this little guy. And I'm, I'm not a great, pilot not a great flyer uh, but this drone will will make a hero out of anybody practically so uh, you know I guess I'm bragging a lot I really I really like this guy uh, we did a, a, a helix and the drone performed that very well uh, we looked at the uh, world world famous uh, cell phone tower here and we got the drone up to it and looked right over the top of it and I have people tell me all the time they they say well didn't you see that cell phone tower over there I, yeah I see that cell phone tower over there and they're concerned that it's going to cause interference I suppose maybe there's some circumstances that it could I've never seen it so uh, anyway and I know that they use drones for inspecting cell phone towers but uh, in any case that's just my experience yours may be different uh, so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this it was just some fun uh, getting out on a winter's day and having fun flying a drone this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to look at this video today. And yeah, I mean, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mini 2, uh, just a phenomenal little piece of technology. Just, uh, just I really love this little guy. Okay, uh, we will see you later. Bye.